Okay, so removing a fin ray off of a Chinook. First thing you want to do is figure out where the second fin ray ends. And that's easily done, or most easily done, with uh, just sliding your knife up the leading edge of the dorsal fin until you feel the bump. So the first fin ray, there's the second fin ray. Yeah, make a cut down. Go all the way down. Go deep. And then you, you count back five more fin rays. You make another incision down. And now for demonstration purposes, I'm going to remove this, this first front two fin rays, although uh, it's very easy to cut yourself doing this, so once you get the hang of it, I wouldn't re recommend doing it. So, now the key is to find the right starting point. You can hinge the dorsal, and you'll feel right there you can feel where the fin ray hinges and that's where you want to start your cut you pull up on the dorsal fins as you uh, continue the cut and what you're left with is just the base of the dorsal fins uh, the dorsal fin rays which is exactly what you want Okay, this is a uh, dorsal fin that I removed and I went too deep uh, with my cut. You can tell because you don't see the knuckles of the fin rays and also when you go like this you can see the joint between the dorsal fin rays and the backbone hinging. Uh, you, know, you know you've gone too deep when that happens. Uh, it saves a lot of time in a lab if you can remove this extra flesh. You do that by making Figuring out, you can kind of feel where the base of those fin rays are. You make an incision on one side, like so. You flip it over, do the same incision on this side. You don't want to go all, all the way through. You just want to go deep enough where you can then go and just rip it apart. like so. And there is your dorsal fin rays. A little extra meat that you can trim off with a, uh, a scissor if you please. Okay, the last step in collecting a fin ray is to place it in the envelope. It's uh, very important to get the fin rays perpendicular to their bases. So basically you want to see a shot like that when you insert this into the uh, envelope. The best way to do that is to put the, uh, the fin rays in the envelope like so and then kind of drag the bases this direction and trying to, to spin it a little bit so it gets in position and then you push down and you want the uh, the base of the fin rays exactly like that. There's no need to close the flap. Just leave them exposed like that. Mash down the paper so it kind of glues it together and keeps it in, in one place. And go ahead and stick it in a plastic bag. 